Hey everybody, Luke Thompson from ActionVFX.com and today I'm going to show you a really cool tool that I've been playing around with a lot lately. It's called Runway ML. Uh, Runway ML is a web-based application that really brings together and bridges the gap between uh, artificial intelligence, the complexities of machine learning, but the creative application for visual effects. Uh, it has a really nice UI so you can really do a lot of powerful stuff inside of this application. It's really important to me that the rest of this demo be in real time so that you can actually see how the platform works and how fast uh, I can roto. So what I'm going to do is I've got three shots loaded here. So we're just going to jump right into the app. Um, again, it is web based, so there's not uh, a need for any huge GPUs or fancy computers or anything like that because it's all being handled um, on their uh, machines. So I have these three different plates uploaded. We're just gonna hop in and start rotoscoping um, and creating mats for these. So I'm gonna click the home tab up here. The green screen model is gonna be the one that we're using today uh, for this demo. There are quite a few other things that they have uh, like removing backgrounds quickly from images, videos, um, adding color to old photos, using AI and machine learning, and I mean, just about a million other things. Uh, so we're just going to click start editing. It's going to go ahead and throw us in the uh, platform with the timeline here. And you can see my assets over here on the left. And I have, uh, there's a couple other like stock um, media assets that are included here. But I'm going to start off with this flame torch shot. By default, all my settings are going to be ready to go. Uh, so I'm just going to click to add points where I'm wanting my mask to be and as you'll see it's just going to generate and build that out for me so i'm on the first frame here since i placed those there the uh, computer is going to start processing forward and backwards and i'm going to jump to the four second mark so you'll see it's splitting up the way that it's supposed to or how i would expect it to at that four second mark and still loading a little bit there. So it looks like in the darkness, his hat is being left out a little bit. So I just put one point there. It added it there. And it's immediately, as I said, going to work backwards and fill in those adjustments that I made. Uh, you can also notice that it's dropping little keyframes uh, on the timeline, similar to how it would operate inside of a program like After Effects. And so that's pretty much it for this shot. I'm going to go ahead and hit export up here. Um, it's going to give me a little demo. So I can see right there, there's a gap. Um, so I'm going to click exclude. I'm going to punch in on this and just put one marker right there. So that's kind of going to help even that out a little bit. I'm going to hop back up to export. I'll just leave the title the same. And uh, I am on a paid version of Runway ML. It is very, very affordable um, considering the amount of time that it saves. But there is a free version that you can play around and test out just to see how powerful this is. And on the paid version, there's an only export alpha channel option. So I can just see the map. And that's all I'm going to be uh, needing right now for this test. So I'm going to hit export, only export alpha channel, HD. That's going to be 2048 by 1080. And I'm going to hit export video. While this is cooking over here, I'm going to go ahead and hop into our second shot, which is these two soldiers running in the water. We have a couple different uh, explosions kind of splashing down behind them. Uh, so this is a real shot that I actually rotoed. I'm going to clear this composition, drag in a running soldiers clip. I'm going to start about halfway um, where they're split up here. And again, I'm just dropping those keyframes in. And it's going to start doing its thing. So see, it even has already kept them apart right there. If they overlap, it overlaps. Very, very powerful tool. So 
down here at the end. I'm just going to drop a few more points to make sure it gets everything. Um, and for this shot, I mean, I really only needed the roto up until about this point. But you'll see it's still hanging in there. Dropping a few more keyframes here. But all things considered, that's pretty close. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit export on this, do the same settings as the last, uh, so only export the alpha. It's 1920 by 1080, hit export video. And I'm just going to hop right in and do that last, um, going to clear this composition window. And do our last shot here, which is... A demo shot we used for falling dust. So there's a lot of uh, shaky camera movement. This was kind of a nightmare to track and then, you know, roto so that the falling dust could be coming down uh, behind me as I'm kind of running through this hallway. Um, so let's see how this one does. I'm just gonna go about midway. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's a good face right there. So one point and it is already, already, man, that's, that's pretty impressive considering two clicks. Let's see how well it keeps up. I'm going to back to the four second mark. Two second mark. So one more click and it filled all of that in. And even just the arms as they start to walk in. Wow, that's, that's pretty, <laughs> oh man, I love this, this thing is so cool. It's got a little bit of motion blur. Uh, you'll see there the mask is a little too high, so I'm going to click exclude, put that point right there. And this mask should give us more than enough for what we're needing. Just add a couple, couple more there. If I wanted to kind of hop in on the rim of these glasses, this might be a little trickier because it's out of focus. But we'll see. I'll take that for the time being. I mean, obviously, you know, if this is like a hero shot, you've got something really detailed, um, you'd be cleaning that up anyway. But as far as just quick result, um, getting a mask that we could at least throw some elements in behind, um, I mean, this would be more than enough uh, for what we need. Ooh, got a nice big green spot right there. Going back over to export. And it is possible in this editor to, uh, I'm just gonna hit spacebar, and it can generate uh, kind of like a RAM preview as if it were inside of After Effects. It is pretty quick considering that, you know, it's not having to actually track or do any other complex uh, processes on my local system. And so this would kind of let us see, okay, some of the holes here. So if I wanted to just kind of watch this through with the green background, and it'll start to autofill because I added those points. It'll just keep doing its thing and keep adjusting as it goes. So see, I'm not even uh, adding new keyframes here, it's just picking up from back here, uh, the ones that I added, as it's reprocessing this through. All 
Just make sure it gets the rest of this. It's a little harder because the edge is so soft right here. And so out of focus. Cool. All right, well, we'll let this thing cook. So I'll hit export, only export alpha channel. Leave the title 2048 by 1080. Click export video. And now let's hop over and review our three mats that we have. So all of the masking, creating the masks is done for these three shots um, in just a matter of minutes as opposed to, I mean, I can attest, I'm not good at rotoscoping, um, but I've definitely, definitely spent hours and hours trying to get a mask that fits the actors, but is close enough uh, for me to put something behind them, uh, like that water shot, for example. I mean, it took me forever, and then I was having problems with like program crashing and everything else. Um, so a lot of mental turmoil. Um, and if you've ever rotoed, you probably know the feeling. But the fact that this is a result in just a matter of minutes, uh, and obviously there's some gaps in this because I didn't do a RAM preview and actually click through. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, I think you can kind of see the, uh, the power of the application itself even before refining anything. So at this point, I would just download this mat, um, bring it into After Effects if I needed to add any additional uh, masks. Obviously, I would touch it up as best as I can in Runway ML. Um, for you know the best result. I would kind of get rid of some of this flickering right in there, but I mean, yeah. Not a bad result for a couple seconds. Let's hop over to the flame torch, see what this one looks like. He's got a little flicker down here around his hand. Um, but really, I mean, his hat it's pretty spot on, the torch itself, and even how it passes over and has those small gaps that kind of peek through between his arm and stuff are very impressive. And our last one is done processing, so we'll see how this one came out. Yeah, man, such cool applications. In a matter of minutes, we've rotoscoped three shots. Um, albeit these aren't perfect mats, but for most applications, these will at least get you uh, where you need to go uh, and in the, in the same ballpark that you need. Um, and these may work for your application, depending on what you're doing, um, but yeah. So that is the end of this live demo. We've rotoscoped three shots in a matter of minutes uh, using Runway ML. Um, it's a platform, as I said, that utilizes machine learning and artificial intelligence, but kind of packages it together and has a really great interface for creatives to utilize those high powered tools without having to know all of the technical coding and programming knowledge of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Thanks so much for watching this video. I know it was really different than the normal format that we take, um, but as soon as I saw this tool, I knew it was something that I needed to make a video and show everyone in the VFX community about because of the amount of time that it saves. Uh, we at Action VFX are all about taking really powerful tools like this and democratizing them so everyone can have access um, to make better stories, to work faster. Um, there's no reason why this level of technology should be kept away in a closet and hidden somewhere. Uh, but unfortunately, that's what a lot of people do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please drop a comment and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and let us know what you want to see more of. As always, I'm Luke Thompson for ActionVFX.com.